we begin, I'd actually like to uh, introduce uh, Commissioner Freeman to everybody, uh, our new development commissioner, and uh, perhaps he could just say a couple of words to explain uh, how we got this, this position tonight. Uh, okay, uh, thank you. Uh, my name is uh, Mike Freeman, I'm the Commissioner of Development. Uh, I asked for this special meeting, and I want to thank you for coming in on a July afternoon to, uh, to entertain this proposal. A little background on how we got to here this moment. Uh, in June, the City Council passed a uh, resolution extending the memorandum of understanding with Capelli Enterprises governing the account project. Uh, as a condition, one of the conditions of that resolution was that exterior improvements be made to 5 Anderson on the properties within the account of the project area and before you this evening. Uh, you can't allow that to simply be a subjective test because the council wrote it pretty broadly in the sense that it uh, proved Mr. Five Anderson to the satisfaction of the Department of Development. That's pretty wide open. So what happened in uh, late June is letter went to the county enterprises outlining what we would like to see completed to the building, exterior improvements that are tangible, physical, and easily measured to make a decision. Uh, there are a series of code violations that are under uh, review by the city's building department, but there is also one additional uh, requirement, and that was that the building be brought up to conformance with the city ordinance governing empty retail space. Uh, as we dug deeper into that, it requires the approval of the board uh, to any suggested improvements uh, to the retail storefront, which can come in one of two ways, either some sort of arcus way interior to the structure, or some sort of decay on the covering on the exterior of the windows, subject to a variety of code issues. Um, when we dug uh, into the fact that the MAC had to review this, it's a question of catching calendars and catching forums and catching approvals. Uh, we did obviously have this rearranged for a week ago, and we asked you to punt it out uh, because the uh, Capelli folks were getting approvals of the property owners, uh, Mr. Long and Mr. Fonte. Uh, haven't received that, haven't run the notices. Uh, we're not here tonight, Wednesday night, in the gym, uh, July. Uh, so I, I thank you for uh, riding with us and, and scheduling uh, to get this in during the month. Uh, and uh, tonight uh, you'll have to forward you their application. Uh, it's up to you how you review it, how you accept it, whether you want changes, whether you want to shoot down, whether you want to throw it up. Uh, however you go, we'll follow you. Um, but it um, does need your, your sign. -off. So uh, it's kind of a quick background. Uh, I'll step away. And Thank you, Commissioner. Yeah. As far as the Commissioner indicated earlier, uh, part of the requirements of the MOU provided that we resolve some outstanding code violations that are not our code violations, not the Capelli Group's code violations, but the owner of the building's violations. We have an option to purchase that building, and we have an ongoing uh, debate with the property owner, let's put it that way, a dispute over payments and other things. Um, but having said that, he was finally uh, eventually cooperative in signing the, the application that's, that's before you. And that took some time and a number of attorneys' calls and the like. Uh, but we felt that it's in everyone's best interest to invest this money, this time, uh, and this effort in a building that has critical importance, both visually and um, in terms of how people see the downtown. Uh, and so even though we, won't, we don't own the building, may never own the building, we're willing to make these improvements. Most of the code violations, aside the part from the compliance with the, the new ordinance for uh, window display, uh, displays on uh, vacant retail space, are completed. In fact, they should be completed in totality by Friday. We have a very narrow window in order to accomplish this, uh, August 1st. Jeff has taken the liberty of taking a plan that had been reviewed and approved by you before, really bring it back. That's what we're doing. Uh, there haven't been any, really any major substantive changes, and Jeff can talk to those. Um, but uh, what we're going to do is we are going to fabricate in-house the materials that are necessary. Uh, Jeff and our crews are going to take the varying measurements of the, the windows, uh, both the retail windows, and in some cases some of the windows that are on the first floor that are pertinent to the retail, but also serve access as access points to the residential. Uh, and so we're cleaning up the building. We're, we're, uh, we're painting the cornice, and we're, uh, we have uh, a glass company there that's uh, reinstalling some glass, uh, glass work, and we're doing the panes, redoing some of the panes, and making it presentable uh, in the absence of, of a lease up. Our eventual goal, and 
hoping to work out this uh, dispute with the property owner is to uh, revitalize and uh, rehabilitate the entire facility at 5 Anderson that fronts both on North Avenue and, um, and Anderson uh, and revitalize that and lease it up even in the interim until such time as we can come up with a, a, a plan that's economically viable. The post office works cooperatively with us. They have not for the last six years. They've been staunch opponents of, of working with us on a reasonable price. They've asked for tens of millions of dollars in, in, in prices uh, for their building and, and, and their land, which has been outrageous. And we've, we've brought in uh, Senator Schumer, if you may recall, he was at the site talking about the, his level of frustration with this project and others, the mayor, and county executives representatives, the governor's representatives. So we, we continue to try. We have 19 odd million dollars into this project, hard cash spent, 19 million designs, and legal, architectural, engineering, and you name it. Uh, Payment options. On this building alone, we paid $1.9 million in option payments. This building alone. Cash paid, not what the owners allege are owed, but just paid. $1.9 million. I've presented that documentation to the commissioner and the, and the council. So um, we would like you to, again, I appreciate very much so your time and effort tonight. If you have any questions of a, certainly the technical nature, I'm the wrong guy to talk to. If Jeff is the right guy to talk to, if there are global issues, Certainly, or business issues, I'd be happy to uh, to address them with you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, uh, we can change anything we need to change. It's not it's not real difficult to put them together. You know, if there's something different you want to see, I can I can uh, propose anything else, any different design ideas or photographs. As long as the uh, the city the city council the administration give us the additional time to do it and don't default us under the MOU, we'd be happy to work with you. What's the date right now? August 1st. And why is this coming to us three days before? I'll, I can First answer. question. I can answer that. The property, the yeah, the property owner, there's right. a dispute between us and the property owner. I've read Right. The property owner would not uh, grant us the application. He has to sign this application to come before you. And the city would not uh, enter this on the agenda anytime sooner until he would grant his permission right. to allow us to come before you. So he's done that then? Finally, yes. A week and a half ago. A week and a half ago or thereabouts. And uh, through the attorneys. But, but I assure you, it wasn't of my choosing. I would have much preferred to have plenty of time right after the MOU was signed in order to do that. But we have a legal dispute going on. This is not unusual. And uh, we were just granted today an access agreement to actually get into the building. So that was just satisfied today. So it's um, difficult. These are, you know, these, are, these are difficult times. So we've been trying to make the best of a bad situation. And August 1st is set in what way? The city council, the city council required something to be done. Visual <laughs> tasks. When did they do that? Uh, this was at the... June. Uh, I June. Was it June? June. June. Yeah. June council meeting. We have, uh, even in the best of conditions, we have a lot of time. Uh, this was uh, this was in the newspaper. Yes, it was noticed. This yeah. was noticed in the newspaper. Um, the, they're not illustrated. Well, the only thing that was illustrated here yeah. was the uh, the graphic, the, the uh, graphics that would be inserted in the windows. We're not showing all of the improvements to be made oh, to the building yet. This strictly was focused on the graphics. Okay. 